My company is BioViva, and we are committed to extending healthy lifespan through the use of gene therapy. Uh, that's our main focus. So right now we have research and development at Rutgers University, and we're working on developing a gene therapy delivery method that can d deliver multiple genes at one time. Why would we want to deliver multiple genes at one time? Because treating aging is going to take more than one gene change in order to uh, cure aging. So your body is made up of your genes. Uh, your genes code for po proteins. They make everything about you. And by modifying genes in research and in human cells, we can significantly extend lifespan of those cells and in model organisms. So uh, we are focused to a gene therapy approach. Uh, we do uh, testing, we do biological testing. We have something called the methylation kit. We're also looking at ex extending into telomere kits to learn how long the ends of the capsular chromosomes are, which is associated with your uh, risk of death. And then uh, we work with a company called Integrative Health Systems, uh, which is the first company in the world to offer regenerative gene therapies to patients now who are in high need. So if they, um, if they actually can fit the protocol and uh, the requirements, they can get access to technology now that helps us decipher what therapies will work in the future. So we do several things and all of them are focused at curing aging. Very interesting. So you tell us about telomeres. We've been like checking uh, Dr. David Sinclair and uh, theories and your theories also. So could you tell us a little bit about like uh, nicotinamine, uh, NMN, uh, how like uh, have, have you done any research on it or like uh, do you think it works for a recurring lifespan? You know, we don't we don't actually uh, look at the MNM. We don't look at most of the small molecule approaches, although we do watch the literature. We're not specialists in those areas. Uh, David Sinclair has done most of the work in that area, and I like even more now the work that he's doing in uh, cell reprogramming and the Yamanaka factors. So and that's all gene therapy. So he's moved into the gene therapy realm, and I, I really like his approach there. As far as the, the nutraceuticals, we're, we're just not experts in that, that area, so I'm sorry to say that. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about the, like, uh, like the diet? Like diet, uh, I, I guess it will have like a very high impact in, in telomeres and like uh, life expectancy and things like that. Uh, what, what, what can you tell us about diet? So diet is a touchy subject as well. So people do a lot of bad things with their diet trying to lose weight. And we need to think about diet differently not think of it as gaining lots of weight and losing lots of weight. We need to have a diet where we maintain our health. And again, I'm not an expert in diet, but um, diet and exercise, a well-balanced diet and, and adequate exercise are crucial to your telomeres. Reducing stress levels are crucial to your telomeres. Meditation, uh, relaxation, crucial to keeping your telomeres as long as possible for as long as possible. So telomeres shorten as we age. Uh, all of our cells, as they divide, the telomeres get shorter till they get critically short and they can no longer divide. Uh, this leads to and is di directly correlated with all of the diseases of aging. And actually in some children, in some childhood disease, we see critically short telomeres as well. So we know that we need to get the telomeres uh, longer. Uh, the lowest hanging fruit you can do is diet and exercise, take care of yourself. Uh, when you're ready for more advanced treatments, the gene therapy is the only thing that we know that definitively will lengthen telomeres, but it is still in very early stages and uh, still in early studies in humans. So it's kind of a technology for most people, a technology of maybe uh, 10 to 15 years from now, but for some people who are willing to pioneer the technology, it's a technology for today. Interesting. So when we talk about diet, uh, what could you say about like a uh, like a uh, like fasting, like uh, like doing like fasting in between the way, the days and something like this? That does affect the telomeres. Does affect the lifespan? It has been shown that as we age, less calories are better. You still want to make sure that you have your complete nutrition uh, platform so that you're getting all the the nutrition that you need, but that 
not eating as many calories are more beneficial to a body that is more likely as it ages to store fat in places that are detrimental to health, like between organs and around the waist. Uh, definitely keeping your body as healthy and fit as possible and eating a balanced diet is uh, the number one thing. I, I would never suggest that somebody goes out and just goes on one of these crazy diets where you just eat one thing <laughs> because you probably, you, you might lose weight, but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily healthier. So I think we have to change how we feel about food. If you're eating the right food and you're exercising adequately, you should not be overweight and you should be healthy. So when, when all cause mortality was looked at, people who were super thin and people who are super obese don't do very well. People who are have a nice balanced amount of fat and muscle, lean muscle, uh, do the best. So one of the things that we look at in gene therapy is a myostatin inhibitor. It's a gene therapy that increases your muscle mass. When you increase your muscle mass, you increase your insulin sensitivity, and that has a benefit to your whole body and helps to stave off type 2 diabetes. So when you think about diet and exercise, think about moderation and think about how you feel and also how you look. Okay, so you mentioned diabetes. Uh, what about met metformin? What about this uh, supplement or this uh, that you can take uh, to avoid um, diabetes? Or uh, like, does does really affect the uh, uh, lifespan? Like, uh... well, metformin it appears in studies to have reduced all cause mortalities in a slew of age-related diseases. So what that means is people who took metformin for a certain number of years uh, that had type 2 diabetes had less incidence of cancer and heart disease over time uh, than their peers did who didn't take the drug. Now, metformin isn't right for everyone, and you need to talk to a medical doctor. Our platform is all about, you know, go, it, don't just biohack, biohack with a medical doctor so that you do it as safely as possible. Uh, so metformin isn't for everyone, uh, but for certain groups of people, it is highly beneficial, and it's one of the lowest hanging fruits to uh, treating biological aging in a drug that already exists on the planet. Okay, interesting. Uh, so, like, uh, uh, there is like quite there is quite a hype now about uh, resveratrol. Also, I, I know you're not into particles, you're more into genes. But if you could tell us a little bit to our audience, uh, what about uh, resveratrol and these new like uh, uh, supplements, like uh, uh, epitalon made by, by this uh, Russian uh, scientist? Uh, you know about this this. Um, yeah, so the, the problem with humans is we live a long time, and so sometimes what works in a mouse doesn't work in a human, and it will take time to study uh, how well these drugs work. Um, I think the epitalon did really well in some mouse studies, but I don't think that the, um, or at least in one mouse study, but I'm not sure that that has been shown in humans. And humans, we have to see how long a human will live that's actually taking that intervention. Do they live better? Do they live longer? Do they live better longer? Um, this is why we need human studies, and that's why uh, my company is a huge proponent to getting that data. We just don't have the data on how well these drugs work in humans. Interesting. Let's get back to BioViva. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what plans you have for the future? Yeah, so we will continue to sort out uh, which genes uh, work the best to treat bi biological aging, and we will start combining them into our new gene therapy delivery method. Uh, right now, we, we are doing research and development at Rutgers University, and the scientific community should see a paper from us at least in early 2021. And I think it'll be a real cornerstone uh, to aging. Our goal is to create the first human that lives in complete homeostasis, meaning that they repair faster than they damage. Because what is aging? A aging is cellular damage over time. We look at 10 hallmarks of aging, 10 things that are happening at the cellular level, like stem cell depletion, mitochondrial dysfunction, telomere depletion, uh, nutrient cell sensing, glycation, things like that. We're trying to target those with gene therapy so that we can create 
a better tomorrow for you. Create your body in a state where it repairs faster than it degrades. Therefore, you stay healthy uh, ultimately as long as you want to. Very interesting, Liz. And uh, finally, could you give us some recommendations for our viewers uh, to prolong their healthy lifespan? Right. So to prolong your healthy lifespan right now for most people, you know, get out and exercise. Make sure that you're um, working with your medical doctor uh, on the medications that you take and the exercise you do and optimize your body for health. Because right now, we just want you to be healthy so that you live long enough to live as long as you want to. So while we're working out the science, we're doing the difficult work on our side, take care of yourself. Uh, get your blood pressure under control. Uh, you know, get your, get your mind and body healthy. Increase your muscle mass. It's associated with longer lifespan for everyone in, in the human population. And look at maybe some of these supplements, but go to the expert. I'm not the expert on supplements. Uh, we do gene therapy. Perfect. Thank you so much, Liz, for your time. And I hope uh, BioViva gets very, really successful on their uh, goals. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.